Hi friends, today I will explain about virtual warehouses in Snowflake. So what is a virtual warehouse? What, is, what are the sizes of virtual warehouses available in Snowflake? How to scale up and how to scale out the virtual warehouses? We'll see in detail today. So what is a virtual warehouse? Okay, so just now we discussed. So query processing layer is the actual processing unit of Snowflake. And there will be, uh, it contains virtual warehouses where our queries will be executed, right? So a virtual warehouse is a cluster of one or more compute resources used to process queries and other DML operations. So whatever we discussed during the uh, query processing layer, okay? So suppose this is one virtual warehouse and it has uh, these many compute nodes inside that uh, uh, virtual warehouse. Okay. Suppose if you are uh, running any queries, they will be run by using these compute resources. Okay. So let's see in detail. Suppose uh, I have an organization. Okay. And I have to create different virtual warehouses because so my requirements are different, different requirements I have to operate the data or to visualize the data. Okay, I have different requirements in my organization. Suppose uh, I want to process, I want to load some data. Okay, so the data is present in the internal stages or the data is present in external stages like AWS S3 or Azure Blob or GCP. Okay, I want to load the data into Snowflake. Okay, so you cannot directly load. So by using virtual warehouses, you have to uh, run some queries. Okay, suppose uh, there is a copy command. There is a command called copy. So by uh, using that copy SQL, so you can uh, load the data from uh, uh, the, these files to this cloud storage files to Snowflake database. For that, I have to define one virtual warehouse. Okay, so I have to choose what is the uh, I have to choose the size of the virtual warehouse and the number of clusters. And I have another requirement. Okay. Uh, I so there is a user he wants to operate this data present in the snowflake so he cannot directly do okay he will create or the admin admin will create the virtual warehouse and he can utilize this virtual warehouse so like this in snowflake we can create multiple virtual warehouses not only a single okay so you can create much multiple virtual warehouses so if you see here requirement specific requirement specific virtual warehouse choosing okay so if you for data loading you need like uh, uh, extra small is enough so you are choosing extra small and i have one user group where they want to process the data or where they want to select the data so and they will be operating like uh, 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 big uh, large data set okay so here i am choosing l uh, there is another group of users where they are uh, using some small tables only. Okay, they are operating with small tables. So I'll create a S size virtual warehouse here. So based on our requirement, so we can choose our, our virtual warehouses. Okay. And uh, environment specific warehouse choosing. Suppose I have a, in a real time project. So what are the environments will be present? Development environment, testing environment and production environment okay so based on the environment also your virtual warehouse size uh, differ suppose in production i have millions of records i am operating uh, millions of uh, records and there are so many tables so in that case what i have to do i have to go with uh, some medium or large size virtual warehouse but in the development environment we don't uh, are we don't operate with millions of rows right so for our unit testing we'll operate just uh, thousands or lakhs of rows only so here large size virtual warehouse is not required even extra small or small is enough but when it when it comes to the testing part okay so here uh, it's not like will not operate completely with production data or it, it's more than the development data suppose we are operating with some 50 percent of production data here suppose in the in the development environment we are doing testing with only 10 percent of data that's why i have chosen small size virtual warehouse okay but in the testing environment, I'm operating 50 to 60% of production data. That means, so extra small is not enough. So here I can choose like small size or a medium size. Okay. Uh, but in the production, definitely there will be so many tables with uh, millions of records. 
so their uh, extra small or small may not be required so we have to choose a medium large or extra large based on the data size we are operating okay so we have to choose the virtual warehouses based on the environment also so these two questions are very important guys that's why i'm pictorially representing it okay so you will get a question like so what is the virtual warehouse you are using in the in your project okay so you have to say like uh, so we are using different sizes of virtual warehouse they differ based on the requirement and they differ based on the environment suppose in production i am using a virtual warehouse of l size in the testing environment i am using a virtual warehouse of s size small size but in the development environment we are choosing a extra small size like that you have to say okay this is very important in many of the interviews you will get this question okay so what is the virtual warehouse size you are using in your current project okay these two slides will answer you okay based on the requirement we can choose our warehouse and based on based on the environment we can choose our different uh, virtual warehouses okay so warehouses comes in different sizes so uh, just now we discussed about uh, different sizes of uh, virtual warehouses so it differs from uh, extra small to so currently we have up to 6 xl okay so here in the pictorial uh, uh, representation i am just showing up to 4x but uh, we have uh, virtual warehouses up to 6 xl okay so extra small size it will contain only one ec2 suppose if we are hosting a, our account on the aws okay so in aws ec2 servers are the compute nodes right so extra small warehouse contain only one compute node if it is a small virtual uh, small size virtual warehouse then it contains two if it is a medium it fours so whenever you increase your size so your size will gets doubled that means if you are increasing from large to excel okay so your size will get doubled eight compute resources will be double like 16 resources okay like that 16 will become 32 in the 2x large size it will become 64 in the uh, 3x large okay in the 6x it will be like almost uh, 128 plus 128 256 compute resources will be available okay so this is also important so in, in interviews you may get a question so what is the size of a medium virtual warehouse how many number of compute resource it may contain okay so it will contain so you have to say medium is uh, four virtual four ec2 servers it will contain one medium virtual warehouse contain four ec2 servers in aws or four virtual machines in azure okay so we can choose based on requirement we have to choose our virtual warehouse size okay so each incremental increase in size doubles the number of servers uh, just now we discussed right whenever you increase your uh, virtual warehouse from one size to another size okay uh, the number of compute resources will be will get doubled suppose in the medium we have four compute resources and when you increase the size from m to l so it will get doubled eight compute resources will, will be available in this virtual warehouse okay so sometimes what will happen uh, if the resources are not available to concurrently process all our queries suppose there are some 10 users okay and all the 10 users are operating with the data so they are running some queries select queries or whatever the queries and we have only one virtual warehouse okay so what will happen so whoever triggers the query first that will be that will go to execution and all other queries will be waiting waiting for the for that virtual warehouse right so this is a problem in real time whenever uh, multiple users are running queries concurrently or multiple data loads are happening suppose you have uh, data loads weekly or daily and uh, so many uh, queries are running concurrently to insert the data into tables what will happen only one query or based on the virtual warehouse size and the number of clusters we have chosen so they will be uh, loading and the remaining will be waiting in the queues so but in real time this is a problem right so because the queries even though uh, that data is ready but the queries are waiting because lacking of virtual warehouses so how to overcome this situation okay so there are two options okay so the first thing is warehouse resizing this is different okay so warehouse re resizing i'll explain both of these things in the next slide so to increase 
the performance of our SQL queries. Okay, there are two options we have. Uh, one is virtual warehouse resizing, and the second one is multi cluster warehouse. Whatever the example I just said. Okay, ten people are concurrently running. So in that case, what they have to do? They have to increase their number of clusters, right? So they they have to increase the number of clusters. That means uh, uh, one warehouse is uh, containing uh, some uh, uh, four clusters. Okay, I'll choose now two where warehouses. That means it will the number of uh, uh, compute resources will get, get doubled, right? So let let me explain the next slide. Then you will get uh, some very good idea. Okay, these are the two options. Uh, those will improve the performance. Okay, so the first thing is virtual warehouse resizing. Suppose on day one, I have chosen a small size virtual warehouse where I am operating with only thousand or lakhs of rows. But uh, after one month or after six months, I realized my data grows to millions. Now, if you are running your queries with the uh, S size or extra small size, what will happen? Definitely, it will take a long time, like one hour or two hours. It will take. Because you have chosen very small size virtual warehouse where uh, the number of compute resources are very less, like one or two. So in that case, what you have to do? That means you have to scale up your virtual warehouse, or you have to resize your virtual warehouse. Suppose uh, uh, initially we have chosen yes, right? Now I can make it as medium or large because my data size is growing. And uh, if, uh, suppose uh, there are some complex queries, okay? Uh, where I am joining multiple tables and applying different filters and uh, uh, doing some summaries, okay, like group by, I am uh, I am applying all this kind of operations in the SQL query. That time, what will happen? It has to join multiple tables. So, if you choose a small size or extra small size, definitely that will not be enough. So, you have to scale up your system to different size, to medium or large. You have to scale up. So, we call this process as scale up or vertical scaling. So increasing or decreasing the size of virtual warehouse. Okay. So increasing is scale up and decreasing is scale down. Okay. So when you scale up your system, whenever your data size is growing, and whenever the complex uh, you are running complex queries, and if your small size virtual warehouse is not able to process those queries, then you have to resize your query. Then uh, you have to resize your warehouse. To different size like medium, L, or Excel. Okay, based on the data we are dealing with, and based on the complexity of the query, we have to resize our virtual warehouses. And the Snowflake offers like at any point of time, it's uh, just uh, within seconds we can resize our virtual warehouse. We'll show you that in practical how we can do that. Okay, so when we scale up, this is very important. One of the very important interview question. When you are going to scale up your virtual warehouse size, scale up. Whenever they say scale up, okay, you have to say based on the data size we are dealing with, okay, based on the number of records we are dealing with, and based on the complexity of the queries. So if a small warehouse is not able to perform those tasks, we have to resize to next uh, next available size. Suppose if you are currently working with S, you can uh, scale up to M or L, and you can run your queries. Definitely, it will improve the performance. Okay, so this is one of the very important interview question. In almost all interviews, you will get this question. Don't worry, you may feel like you are not understanding now. But uh, whenever we are running our queries, and uh, we'll show you this in practical. Okay, how different uh, I can show you different sizes of virtual warehouses, how to create and how to operate those virtual warehouses. You don't need to feel difficulty here. You will get better understanding in the next sessions for sure. Okay. So the next thing is, uh, so resizing is nothing but increasing the size of the virtual warehouse. If your queries are taking too long, our data loading is very slow. Okay. Whatever we just discussed. Okay. You can increase the virtual warehouse any time by using Web UI or SQL interface. Okay, so we have a, a Web UI where we can uh, increase the size of the virtual warehouse. Or if I want to do by using SQL query, I have alter commands, alter warehouse. Okay, I can increase the size of the virtual warehouse. So we can do by using Web UI, and we can use uh, we can do by using SQL query also. So the next thing is scale out. So I was telling one example. 
where multiple users are running queries concurrently on the system and one is uh, uh, getting executed and others are going into queues. So how can we uh, come out of this situation? How can we overcome this situation? So scale out is the solution for this. That means, so increasing the number of clusters, okay, increasing the number of clusters we call as scale out. Suppose uh, uh, initially we have chosen only one way, one cluster, okay, one warehouse uh, and uh, I have only uh, two or three queries running in parallel but uh, in future my number of jobs are increasing i'll be executing multiple queries and my users are increasing so initially we have one or two developers but later uh, so many developers joined uh, now my developer count is 10 so they will be running queries so at that time uh, if you if you still continue with only one one cluster what will happen uh, definitely other queries will go into queues so in that situation what you can do you can increase the number of clusters okay so that means you have to scale out your system all right or we can we, we can call this as horizontal scaling also so in some of the interview questions you may get a question what is horizontal scaling that means increasing the number of clusters okay to avoid the queries going into queues okay so increasing the number of clusters to avoid the queries going into queues okay we don't want uh, the queries will be waiting okay i want whenever i fire is fire some query okay uh, it, it should be immediately executed in the uh, query processing layer okay so if you choose proper cluster size based on the jobs you are loading based on the jobs you are running concurrently you have to choose okay so interviewer will get will ask you so how can you choose your number of clusters okay so you have to say like we have these many number of jobs running concurrently and we are not able to perform that with one cluster so i want to uh, resize so i want to increase the number of clusters to two or three so we can increase up to 10 so snowflake is offering up to 10 clusters we can increase okay so what is the main uh, aim of this uh, scale out operation so whenever your queries are going into queues okay to avoid them going into queues we can uh, increase the number of clusters so that all the queries will be executed concurrently in the system okay so this operation we call as scale out just remember scale up and scale out okay scale up means increasing the virtual warehouse size okay that means from xs to s s to m m to l okay but a scale out means increasing the number of clusters increasing the number of virtual warehouses okay so this is called scale out you just uh, remember this point this this is very important interview question and uh, don't forget now let's see quickly how to create a warehouse in snowflake so this is the home screen of snowflake whenever we log into our snowflake account this is the home screen we get right so here we have to go to admin menu okay under admin uh, again there are so many options like usage warehouses resource monitors users and roles but we have to select warehouses here whenever we select warehouses this window will appear so here there is an option like a plus warehouse that means create a new warehouse just click on that so it is asking some properties of the warehouse we have to give okay first of all we have to give some name to the warehouse so i am giving simply sample warehouse okay comment is optional this is something like description about the warehouse we are creating this is not required and let's come to the size so as uh, i explained there are so many sizes in the virtual warehouses right so it starts from uh, extra small which takes one credit per hour and uh, there are warehouses up to size 6xl which takes 5 12 credits per hour okay so now i am creating a small size warehouse okay so that's why i'm choosing small and type we have to select so there are two options here for type standard and snowpack optimized snowpack is nothing but if we want to write stored procedures in snowflake okay uh, we have so many options like we can write the procedure in javascript java scala python sql but whenever we want to write the procedure in uh, particularly python or scala or java so we have to use this snowpark okay 
now I'm selecting the standard one okay so where we can write the procedures in um, uh, JavaScript and SQL okay and leave about this query acceleration part okay let's come to this multi cluster warehouse so I have explained what is a multi cluster warehouse right so if we want to avoid uh, if there are many queries running in parallel and if we want to avoid them going into queues we have to mention we have to go for multi cluster warehouses so here it is giving two modes okay so uh, let's see what are the two modes auto scale and maximized so whenever you click maximized it is saying choose the number of clusters and it is always greater than one okay so uh, that means we are going for maximized one right that means whenever we select this mode uh, it will start all the clusters at a time whenever you run a query so all the clusters will start at a time so this is uh, uh, not recommended actually it will consume lot of credits and the second one is auto scale that means based on the number of queries uh, we are running the parallel queries snowflake will start the extra cluster suppose uh, we are choosing uh, the min we have to choose minimum clusters and maximum clusters so minimum will be always one and uh, minimum uh, minimum also we can choose uh, uh, option something one to ten okay that means whenever we run some query how many number of minimum clusters should be started and the maximum number of clusters how many maximum clusters so i'm selecting minimum as one and maximum clusters is nothing but whenever the queries are running what are up to what extents the, uh, what extent the maximum clusters can be run okay so suppose i want to run uh, multi cluster warehouse of size 4 i can choose auto scaling uh, the maximum clusters as 4 okay and there are uh, some scaling policies as well so we'll discuss this thing uh, uh, whenever we get uh, uh, some other time okay there are two types of uh, uh, scaling policies standard and economy okay uh, we'll discuss this later okay uh, let me give some brief uh, introduction about this so whenever we give economy mode it will try not to open so many clusters at a time when uh, that means suppose there is a cluster running and uh, uh, suppose some max it reached to maximum limit then only it will go it will auto scale to the next cluster in the economy mode but in the standard mode so it it, it will not do like that okay so whenever uh, it feels like the cluster one is busy it will open the second cluster it will not wait uh, until the first cluster is fully occupied okay so that's it so we have chosen all the properties and uh, create a warehouse okay so just click on create warehouse and it, it has created the warehouse so you can see here this warehouse sample warehouse if I want to alter these properties any time in future i can simply i told you right we can uh, uh, alter our virtual warehouse at any time any point of time in future suppose uh, my data is growing or my number of queries are increasing so based on that we can alter our warehouse whenever required in future okay so this is how we can create a warehouse in snowflake okay so if i want to edit okay this is the option i have so here i have chosen small size right so in future my data size is growing and the number of giants are increasing if i want to go for higher size i can simply select the medium here and suppose the number of concurrent queries are increasing in future if i want to increase this to five or six just i can select this one and save warehouse okay so this is how we can alter our warehouse based on our requirement okay so this is a this is a this is about virtual warehouses in snowflake okay which are the actual processing units of snowflake i hope uh, this is this will help for you okay thank you thanks for watching Please subscribe to my channel.